So today is a little bit of results again. Um, this was just reducing the simple electrolyte down to uh, a half molar solution of phosphoric acid. Uh, then we sandwiched them in these little plastic bags. I had to measure all the weight and everything like that. They're very, very comparable. Um, and basically this is what you get is you have an integrated graphene uh, electrolyte and then you have the just the electrolyte and this is the, the difference in the result uh, here's just the electrolyte and sometimes it'll read across board you get some fluctuations between 200 and, two, and 143 that's actually about the real number right there somewhere in there sometimes you get little pockets of bubbles or whatnot. Then you have with the graphene. And there you go. You'll have fluctuations up and down, but I've, ha I've had as high as uh, 2,600. Um, but sometimes it runs between 5 and 6. Now, let's just say 5, 6. Let's just pretend the low results. And on this, the low results you know, we're, we're talking about four times the amount of capacitance uh, just in this tiny amount. This is less than uh, a tenth of a gram, if I remember right, of electrolyte on each of these. I can't remember the number offhand. It's way over there. So, it's pretty, pretty uh, impressive. The next move is to move on to even more stout electrolytes and see how that reacts. So far, some of the tests have shown very, very good things. This right here, of course, was a failure, another one. Uh, I believe it's grounding out because when you run it across the ohm meter, it's just not, it's not, it's not providing the resistance if you compare them. You know, that's like three, 3K, three this is 3K, and then this is grounding out somewhere because this is like 300, almost 400 ohms. So I'll have to work on this one again. That was, this is double layered graphene. This is single layered and this is no graphene. Cheers.